human being. Uh, ah. Good human beings. They come in. Human yeah. Ah. They're a variety. But so are, are you part of the Mexican jumping beans? Maybe. Part of human beans? What if I What are you going to do about it? I want to see you jump. Welcome Mexican. to the dork table. And I'm still Flash, and you're still crazy. And I mean, Mary. I'm still Grammy. Yep. I'm still Grammy. I'll be a Grammy forever. So Grammy. We're we're doing the we're doing a dork table here on the reallibertymedia.com. dot com, right, Grimner? So go to, to the Real Liberty and see if you made contact with the the uh, brainiacs of the world. They might be listening yes. to us. You never know. Hey, Beaners, he says. I will take that as contact. Beaners. So, hey, that's my oldest daughter's nickname. Oh, I was telling Mary before that we came on to the air. Uh, so I wanted to get a, a squishy ball from my hand. Well, not a squishy ball, but a tennis ball or something from my hand. But Cirque got me this soft thing. It's like some kind of squishy ball. And when I first used it, the muscles from my wrist to my elbow twinged a little bit. But the second time I did it, those muscles had been awoken, and now they're just playing along. So it could have something to do with it. squeezing a ball or something to exercise certain muscles that you need. Just a suggestion. There you so go. So you're playing squishy ball. Hmm? Mm. Yeah. Sometimes when I'm gaming and I only need one hand, I will use my squishy ball. <laughs> 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 Don't tell my wife. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> thanks a lot, Grimner. Appreciate the place to play. Just thought I'd throw that idea at you. Yeah, hadn't already thought of it. But it wasn't so much the ball idea as much the texture of the ball. It's this real weird, like, squishy, like Play-Doh, only softer. And uh, I think it exercises different muscles because of the way it's that you grip it. Grim, what kind of rating is this show going to have? Like X, R, mm -hmm. up to your imagination as to Ooh. what kind of balls that are squishy that he's talking about? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've gotten a wheeze this early in the show. Whee! Okay. Score one for Grammy. Well, you want to... So, do I get to say hey and hi and ho to everybody? Yes, Miss Mary, you can say hi to the, the bots and the bodies today. On, yes, this seventeenth of, of uh, uh, October in twenty and twenty. Ah. Mm. Oh. There, there's okay, a whole so list of them right there on the thing on the internet. There is. Lips. There is a yeah. list. There's a really big list. Can you read it? I think. Yeah. And I don't have my cheaters <laughs> on or nothing. Like, I am over and over cheaper Cheater. now. Of course, the printing is a lot bigger. Than oh, the read the fucking games, man. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> Right up top, we got Barman, the most splendiferous bot Barman. in the whole wide world. Thank you ever so much, Barman. Barman. And around to everybody for whatever they're drinking. <sighs> me, personally, I'm having me some iced coffee. Call me crazy, <clears throat> but I am. Yeah, oh, yeah, right. Iced tequila coffee. <laughs> shush, shush, <laughs> shush. Not to kill you. Woodka. Woodka. I'm killing all the Germans Jeez. and the germs Jeez. inside. Going all <clears throat> Closely followed by. Hmm? Huh? You're, you're going all Eastern Bloc like that, Trump's wife. Well, that's because Russia, 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 because Russia did it. Just ask. I have I have found out I have to put this public service message out there. Yeah. Whenever someone says Russia, 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 what yeah. they're doing is if you, okay, this is a an audience participation thing. Point your finger like you're pointing at somebody like they did something naughty. Okay, now look down at your hand, and you notice you've got three fingers pointing back at yourself. Those fingers are named Russia, 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 just so you know. Okay, that that explains all of politics just right there. Okay, we also got right here Cowboy Tech, the wow. most splendiferous listener out, uh, out there. Tech. He's always hearing pleasant voices. Very much. We got Grimner, the RLM god, don't you know? Closely followed Grimner. by the lovely Moose Girl. And they do the Freaker's Ball on Friday Freaker's night. I, I slept through it. I slept. I actually went to bed by 10 o'clock. I was a tired girl. 
In any case, I also see the lovely Miss Kate is here. Hey, Kate, how's things down in Florida? We got Prince in a bracket. So if if it's bracketed Prince, is that like on the Q boxes or in the Q thingy? Is that like in the kill box? Just curious. I also see Anti is here as well as Anti with a tail. You know that it's a prehensile tail. So in case he can't quite reach with his arm, tail reach just it's like a. Uh, AT&T or a Southwestern Bell thing. It reaches out and touches someone. I also see Chalcedony got the O going on, as well as the lovely Miss Psycholo. Hey, Psycholo. Hello, honey. The lovely better half of Flash of Rooney Dork. You're welcome. Miss Chloe is also here, as well as Day Yum, band meter, and Day Yum, girlfriend. I've seen your pics on Instagram. Day Yum. <laughs> And I, my gate don't swing that way, but day young. Yeah, I also see the, 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 the is in the chat, as well as you, Flash. Yeah. You're here. More or less. More or less. Well, Depends I understand that. Depends on we your perspective. Apparently, Frumpy Woik is being the referee between you and I because there's you, then Frumpy, then me. Oh. So he must be refereeing. Oh, we get oh. it's like a Canadian bacon sandwich backwards. <laughs> it's kind of like a Steve Miller song: clowns to the left of him, jokers to the right. Here he is. Wow. <laughs> Slab of bacon between two pieces of ham. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Somebody better get the cheese, in. <laughs> Vinny. Ah. Yeah, we had Vinny. We got cheese to go with our sandwich. There you go. There you uh, go. I also see JJ's. No, 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 JJ's. That's yeah. Scottish fella. Yeah. Oh, Steelers yeah. wheel. Yeah, Thanks, Graham. Yeah, see, somebody's oh, always got to correct me with my faux pas yeah. when I put. In other oh, words, uh, people, uh, if I say uh, something and you think, wait a minute, uh, check it out, because you know what? Odds are I'm wrong. Yeah, you're Odds always are. wrong. God damn it, wrong. I just I'm throw always, shit out there. Uh, okay, 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 okay. I'm I'm wrong quite often, actually. But that's yeah, okay. Steelers wheel. So. Thanks, Graham. I'm stealing a wheel. Da, 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 wow, da, where are you taking along. a wheel? Uh, where are you well, going to take a wheel? Jesus, Jesus didn't want to take it because mm-hmm. he said, no, uh, I'm not insured in your vehicle. Uh, <laughs> see, Meister Brower is here. Hey, hey what do you eat? <laughs> we got a Rob Boyks here, too. Rob, did you fire up the bubbler? The I'm bubbler. looking. I don't see no... I don't see any tiny bubbles tiny in the bubbles. wine. No. Hey, trust no one. He doesn't trust anybody, not even himself. We got a Vanna White, the letter-turning bot of the RLM channel, as well as Weather Dork, who is still trying to blow something up her skirt. Weather Dork's got a thing for Vanna, don't cool. you know? Hey. Yes. We have a phantom. There's a phantom, a phantom in the room. Here's the phantom. Closely followed by Asmo. Asmo. That's the new and improved version for those of you that don't know. <laughs> and we've got a CC66 in the chat as well as a Chloe. Because she's, she's doing something that's making her go. <laughs> oh, that's usually a vibrator, right? Uh, well, I thought maybe it was Cyborg Noodle. Cyborg and Noodles. Vibrating yeah. shit. Hey. The dark cakes. Hey, hey cakes. mental you yellow doing? bastard. How the fuck are you? <laughs> what? I also see End Civ with a little bit of a tail End going on. Civ. Apparently, End Civ is dragging it out. Yeah. Just, we're going to end this civilization, but we're going to drag yeah. it out a little bit a longer. Long time. Love you yeah, long w- time, w- Ron Dice. Oh, man, drag it out a long time. <laughs> man, yes. <laughs> Matt WJ two thousand and two is also here as well as the pop a pop a pod sauce. Smartaz who's been coming up with some pretty smartaz comments of late. Yeah. Pretty good for bot smartaz. Yeah. Yeah. We got the holiest Roger ever. Can I get a um yummy yummy yummy? Because you know he's Ooh. the holiest Roger ever. Ever. And Trevor. Wait for it. Wait for what the hell? Yeah, that's what? because Beetle is not up top. Oh. What the hell? Wow. No, that's right. So, 
Yeah. That's everybody that's logged into the chitty chat 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 you over here in the RLM. And for those of you that yeah. are listening yeah. out there, if you yeah. wish to join into the chitty chat, come yeah. on over to reallibertymedia.com. <laughs> Click on the link to yeah. join the chat. Think yeah. of a nickname. Yeah. And then give us some static and we'll give it back because we are kind of staticky people. <laughs> static. Well, so, that, that's kind of Take it static. away, Flash. Sorry, I had to clear my throat. Well, that, you thought that was static, but no, that was me clearing my throat. Well, you know, it's, <laughs> it's actually like like we're, our minds are one. Because you know what I named our program today? Well, of course you don't know, because I named it. I called this show, <laughs> Where Did All These Dummies Come From? Question mark. From all of the ventriloquists that have died and now vote Democrat. Okay, now. The first thing to think about, though, is the people that were, were calling dummies are insulted that we're calling them dummies, right? Yeah. Because this is what makes a person a dummy, is they don't really understand the uh, reality behind the action they're taking. They're believing a story, and they're going to prove the story to be a bunch of shit. <laughs> but they're going to hold up their end by going through it. And I felt really bad for him. Ah. Yeah, so I'm full of uh-huh. smug. Hey, I'm sitting here in my smug. I know it. You're sitting in your own smug? Oh yeah. It's the oh. smell it's the smell of daisies, baby. <laughs> yeah. Daisies that have been freshly fertilized by organic fertilizer? Um uh, I don't know, maybe. But mm. I, I mean, I will admit it is it's ma- it's my own make my own smugness about this whole thing. You know, I'm just like beyond fucking feeling bad for people. Now I'm just getting smug and waiting for them to croak, get sick and croak. Go on, give up, be a big baby, go on, fucking Palestinian. <sighs> what? Well, you know, when you got the whole world against you, I call you a Palestinian. And that's the way I, I'm starting to see my, my peers. As Palestinians. Well, we're not pirates, so what other choice is there? There's the two Arr. choices. You're a pirate. Speak for yourself. Arr. I can be a pirate. Well, Arr. all the time or just some of the time. Mm. <laughs> see? My wife has, you know, like a reality to live in here. So for me to be living the life of a pirate would kind of fuck that reality up just a little bit. So yeah, I see how you are. I have to be a Palestinian in a time in history when every fiber in my being wants to pirate. But I'm too really too old to physically go through that and survive it well. <laughs> so I'm gonna. Mm live off the memories of the pirating I did when I was younger and just watch the world burn. <laughs> That's like a Jimmy Buffett song, isn't it? I have no idea. You tell me. I'm not a Jimmy Buffett fan. Ah. Um, hmm. Is it a pirate looks at 40 or a pirate something like that? I don't know. Pirateize I, me, baby. I, I'm, hearing, I'm hearing the song inside my head. I'm not going to sing it to you because I'm not that much of a pirate. Oh. But <clears throat> I'm just a parrot head. Oh, ah! yeah. Well, yeah. So? So? Uh, I don't know. I'm trying not to be so judgmental. I'm trying to be uh, judge physical, not judgmental. Because you're liable to bite off more than you can chew in the physical world. So uh, you'll avoid that one more <laughs> often than not, <laughs> I think. Well, it's one of those things where um, that plaque that I have somewhere around here says, please make sure your words are tender and sweet for tomorrow. You may have to eat them. You know, unless you like tough and chewy yeah. or salty and No, it, and it's kind of funny you bring that up because it brings to mind this. I've got this encounter in the grocery with a guy in a wheelchair. It's the only time I ever freaking run into him in town ever is inside the store. And it surprises him that I'm aware he's there every time. Now, the last time was a little bit 
less. It's like getting more comfortable. But the surprise, like, whoa, somebody notices I'm here. <laughs> hey, well... That's cool. Well, it's the way we've been taught to treat each other because of our uh, physical limitations. Yeah. I wasn't raised in all that being polite because somebody could be offended bullshit. You know, either you speak to people or you don't. Not, oh, you don't have a right. (laughs) That kind of shit. Who the hell do you think you are (laughs) to talk to me? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> what, you've never heard anybody say that? I have. Hmm. Well, I've heard lots of people say lots of things, so. Yeah. I'm just going to. Pass? I'm just going to. You're going to pass on my d- deprived con. Okay. I bring up a what? deprived comment like that, and you're going to pass on it. Fine. Be that way. I'm gonna. I see that. So we'll go to something else. Like, be the. I'm gonna be the ruler of the world. What do you think of that? And the first thing I'm gonna do. I'm. I just took over the world when you weren't looking. I'm in control now. You know what? That's all well and good. You can. Mm. You can take over your world all you want, and you can call it the world all you want. I don't care. Oh. Okay. Then I'm going to make it illegal for you to pick weeds between the hours of 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. Well, in your world, I will not come and pick weeds between the hours of 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. But in right. my world, yeah. I will go pick weeds. I will pick them, and I say, you, I will pick you as a very special weed. To be Nancy Pelosi because you look like your brain is Botoxified just like hers Really? And so there you go That's quite the judgment to make over a joke Well wow. You told me I couldn't pick weeds I want to pick them What Did, if I want to well, What if I want to pick it for the ball What if I want to well, pick it to be the one that lives Apparently See this wasn't my idea Apparently these people Around us in the world, they they look to these other people for, is it okay to do this? Is it okay to do that? Kind of shit. And it has gotten so out of hand over the last hundred years or so that, wow, people don't trust well, yeah, each other because, anymore. Because someone that I've never met, probably never will meet, odds are don't ever want to meet excuse me, knows more about my life and my situation than I do, and therefore they are large and in charge on making any kind of decisions regarding my life. I don't think so. Mm. But people have been convinced that if you just color in that circle, if you punch out that little spot, that person that you don't know and never will know, odds are, they're going to do everything. In really? their power to make your life better. Oh, well, you know what? Before they before they started borrowing in trillions, I had a fig. I had figured out a way to balance the budget. Now it's too high. It can't be done with the interest rate. So, well, it was a waste of thinking. But boy, what, it sounded so cool. Seeing the way you do it is you hold the religions legally accountable for their promises. Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. Break the Jews in about a week. Kidding me? Probably. Yep. So, that would level the playing field. You know what else? I had another idea. Is that? These five banks claim to be trading like $5 trillion a day, right? So, I thought, uh-huh. what if they took one day out of the year to just give all that money away to all the people on the and then take the next day and then go back to playing the little money games. <laughs> Donate it back into, the, you know what I mean? But that's not the the system that we have. Is a, it's, it's like a, a whale surviving. See, and I wonder what? if you know, just one day, all of the sudden, all of their computer screens showed the blue screen of death. On you know, just it just came up with a little cursor up in the corner. Hmm. 
what happened to all those trillions of dollars? If they're no longer on the computer screen, where'd they go? Well, that's the whole point. They're somewhere, but nobody knows where. It's like uh, but it, it's like proving they COVID only exists. exist on a computer screen. Yeah, like COVID. And the computer screen gives you the blue screen of death. Then did they get killed as well? I hope so. The death count is not high enough for all this fucking hoopla. I'm telling you, I am very disappointed. As a consumer, in this freaking COVID-19 is a flop. You fucking people didn't die in big enough numbers to make this all worth doing. I'm very disappointed. <laughs> See, now you need to say that like the bad guy from The Fifth Element. I am very disappointed. And then push a button. Oh. No, don't push a button because we're button. recording. You don't want yeah. to. Yeah. See, when I push buttons, bad things happen to good people. Uh-huh. Okay. Be that way. Be that way. Yeah, don't push that button, but yeah. I am very disappointed. It was like an evil Elmer Fudd. Yeah. Know? See, there you go. Well, I don't. Bad haircut. As a, as a role, Miss Maria, I don't don't know how to do an impression of an evil Elmer Fudd. Hmm. El, El, Elmer Fudd. <laughs> <laughs> What's your volume level set on? I don't know. Am I too loud? No, you're not loud enough. Uh, I'm not loud enough. Louder and quieter and louder. And do maybe I? Maybe it's my headphones. It I would my assume. Headphones are saying, yeah. Sorry. I would say it to you. It's because my, yeah, I'm right in the same as, an, oh, hmm, there you go. And all that technical kind of stuff that we say about it. <laughs> right? Right. Okay. Right. I, I, I think it's loud enough. You stop. Okay. You're being. Well, and it could, it could very well be my computer or my headphones. Yeah. Oh, could be. Imagine could, that. Could, could be. I don't know. Why do you ask me personal questions when we're live on the radio? Because that's the way I roll. Yeah. That's why. See, I was I was exploring my my dream of holding the religious people accountable for all those promises that they promised all those kids all those times. The kid goes, "Hey, what happened?" The Lord works in mysterious ways, little Johnny. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, my ass is gonna bleed for three days here. Yeah, well, you know, Garth Brooks said it best. Unanswered prayers. So, Who? there you go. Darth See, Vader? That's, that's, that's the thing about about a lot of this stuff when you get religiosity in yeah. the It's that, you know, it's all based on, but you got to have faith. Well, and it's you got to have faith in someone else that you can't see, that you can't touch. But they're in your life. Now, I know there's an awful lot of religious people out there that are going, hey, 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 don't be casting judgments on me. I'm not casting judgments. Yes, you are. If you wish to put all of your faith what? into an invisible Hugh Beaumont, yeah. who will just occasionally put you in a headlock and scop your knob, you know, that's your business. That's yeah. your business. Oh. Me? Yeah. <clears throat> I figured I was endowed by my creator with some gray cells that actually function and with a heart that functions and with an intuition that functions. And I'm expected to use it because the Lord helps those that help themselves. And so. And I thought I was smug. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, uh, show me up. Uh, <laughs> well. And I'm not saying I don't ever have those moments of where, oh, dear God, Just please, kidding. seriously. But, I mean, I rely more on myself and my own intuition and my own thoughts. And, and if I find that my thoughts are wrong, mm. then I correct them. Right. But that, that's, out at people. that's subjective. Well, see, there you go. If you were being hurt by the decisions that you had to make, maybe you would. <laughs> A weaker well, mind. Well, I was being hurt by my own decisions. I'd say, dumbass, see what you did to yourself? Uh, see, you're, a weaker-minded person has limitations, Mary. This this yeah. stuff that we're dealing with here, it, 
takes a lot to admit that, wow, I got fucked over by these people. Wow, they told me that and I bought it. But then you learn. You go, oh, wow, they look at what they're pulling this time. <laughs> well, yeah, you learn things. But mm. sadly, there's so many people that once, you know, when you try and inform them, maybe, mm. or at least point them in the right direction so they can inform themselves, because really that's all you can do. You can lead them to it, but they got to actually do it. But, mm. you know, it's really hard for people yeah. to pull their head out of the sand long enough to go shit you know and too many of them they kind of glance up and they go no no I'm more comfortable here with my head in the sand thank you very much nah nah I like being able to breathe freely ergo no mask yeah. I like to be able to think for myself ergo yeah. I don't listen to the corporate lame ass propaganda system ooh you sounded like Mr. Grimm I know, I don't worship at the altar of the missing sanity media. Oh, come I'm, on, man. I do. It's really cool. They get they give you. you out free hats too. T shirts. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well if there ain't any cookies that are non GMO, I don't want nothing to do with it. Yeah, well it. you know, if you're in a lockdown situation with curfews and all that horse shit, you're not hearing this crap, I'll tell you that. Oh, what? that's true. I wonder what kind of crap the people that are all locked down are probably getting, like, MSM. <laughs> all that good, you know, all that good you know fear-mongering. I, but, you know what's really crazy about that, though? A lot of people that are getting locked down, especially, like, families that, you know, that don't leave the house, don't do this, don't do that, they start spending family time. You know, and eventually you have to talk to each other. Especially, like, know. if the... Uh, the um, electricity goes out, you know, then you have to, oh, Ghost story. think of something creative to do, like use a candle to be able to light the room or open the curtains. Ooh, pull back those curtains and see what's going on. Wow. Heaven forbid. I called that segment Lockdowns and Baseball Bats. Well, oh, Clever. Kate says it's a voluntary lockdown now. Oh yeah, that yeah. there you go. Voluntary. Suck yeah, on you're my gonna volunteer to lock down because we people. said so and if you don't we're going to fine you lots and lots of imaginary dollars. And not, and the rest of them are seriously scared out of their freaking minds and do not understand. They're just being played. And you can't yeah. even explain it to them because they're beyond the government would never do a thing like that. We horrible men you that. <laughs> well, there you go, Mr. Government. You got your, you know, you got your bread buttered on both sides like usual. I hope you choke well, on it. There are there are people that are are fearful. Yeah. Uh, trust me, I've seen some of them, and wow, they they make me concerned. Yeah. And then there's the others that are, well, we're order followers. They wouldn't yeah. tell us to do something that wasn't good for us. Oh, I'm thinking that's just a little on the naive side as well, but I I really can't give them too much shit because at one time or another, I have been a good little order follower and very naive. I was much younger then, but, and you followed orders or dad swatted your ass, so. Yeah, well. Mm. I'm giving you a headache, frumpy. Sorry. Wow. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Wow. I'm not <laughs> Your work. You, you know what? And I, I tried to tell this joke the other day. Didn't work. But in in the old days, to cure the the flu, they just burned the witch at the stake. Yeah. And yeah, now, you know, and sacrifice. yeah. So now they figured out. Wait a minute. That we didn't get enough of them. So now they. Punishing the people that they help. Well, it's in the you know, documents, they, Mary. They uh, oh, can I know do I know. all this they, shit to you experimentally, basically, basically, and you have no mm-hmm. legal recourse. You're t- doing this at your own fucking risk. Wait a minute, he's some kind of idiot. It's, 
Even I saw young Frankenstein and I know better. You know? Come on. True. Oh, look. It's a great That's story. Kind of, you know, it's, well, see, and it worked. It's along the same lines as when someone gives you a drink and it tastes like crap. Oh. You know, we've been pretty much trained to go, oh, man, this tastes like crap. Here, you try it. No, I don't that, hear that from my wife ever. Well, no, you don't hear that no, from your wife. She never says that. I tell you what. Right. My hubby, bless mm. his heart, he gets to deal with me sometimes. Mm. Honey, would you smell this? It doesn't smell right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I see, no, I don't think Sir really cares what I think about if it smells right or not. You know, if she thinks it's bad, then it's bad, period. Fuck it. What I think at that point doesn't interest her. Well, and he usually looks at me and goes, you're asking me? I can't smell See, anything. they're, right, uh, setting up for the, you know, come on. We all, I'm trying to get audience participation in this, you know? No. Come on, honey. Yeah, no, do it yourself. Oh, see how you are. I have to do well, everything. if things, it's, it's what I tell, I think I, I told her this when we were first together about my, my way of doing something <laughs> If it bothers me so fucking much that I think I'm going to tell you about it, I'll just go do it myself. Yay. Otherwise, well, think about it, right? Because we all have our little things that we do that irritate other people. But, fuck, we don't care. (laughs) Let them eat cake. Let them eat cake. And you know what? I just Mm -hmm. see the duck farted in my general direction. Very good. Ah, your mother smells of elderberries. That's right. Stinky. Yeah. Fart. Fucking bird. Fart. Hey, you know what? Hmm? You know what? It's been very boring around here in Freddy Town. But oh yeah. Yeah, Cirque Cirque went to the to the city and and, and beyond, further south, and went shopping for shit. Tuesday, I think. I don't know. One well, the other day, Wednesday, maybe. Might have been Thursday. I don't know what day it is. <laughs> Saturday is day. Yeah, I think it was Thursday. <laughs> I was struggling with what day is this today. <laughs> I tell everybody, they go, you know, have good weekend. I go, wow, is it the weekend again? I didn't notice it's today. I didn't. I never notice. <laughs> I've never noticed. Because I've had a lot of jobs where I worked on a Saturday or a Sunday. Yeah, my mother's always saying, "I don't know, I don't know what the big deal is about holidays." And I said, "Yeah, Mom, that's because for the last twenty years, you always—well, not the last twenty, but the last twenty years that she worked, she always worked holidays because she got double time." So, see, you know what and, and that was a different. That was the homebody lifestyle. That I was avoiding when I, the part I was thinking of. When you could just wow. work, legal work was easy to get, and people were more anxious to not have to pay somebody regularly to do it. Just use uh, what do you, what do they call it, petty cash or something, to get a job done, wow. like loading a truck, yeah. unloading the truck, something like that. Because it's yeah. already accounted for somewhere, but. How they deal with it is up to the driver, or it, it was in my day. Now, now it's all automated, digital. Give them a fucking blood specimen, COVID test, check your fucking blood pressure, make sure you don't have a heart attack and croak while you're driving. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, those COVID tests too. I read something. Last night, was it? What? Yeah, somebody had gone in. Um, they were supposed to have some kind of elective surgery, mm-hmm. and um, they had to do the COVID test before they could, you know, be admitted to the hospital. And the person that tested them shoved that Q-tip up so far that they developed a nosebleed that lasted for three days. Uh, thanks for telling me that one. Dude. It's like... Yeah, people. Okay. When when the cure or what they're telling you is the cure is worse than the disease, 
stay as far away from them as humanly possible. Yeah, apparently. It's just like the one of the last times I actually watched uh, uh, commercial TV, yeah. and one of the commercials was about this stuff for toenail fungus. Huh. And you know, at the very end of it, they always talk really, really super fast. Uh, yeah. And really? one of the one of the possible side effects was oh. death. <laughs> I thought, death. Ooh. Ooh. Dealing with discolored, thicker toenails or dying. Dying. Mm. Yeah. Think, think I'll go grab me a jar of Vicks Vapor Rubber Mentholatum and deal with the toenails as opposed to dying. Get some fucking paint. <laughs> yeah. Something. Paint your paint your toenails. There you well, go. Uh, well, that's how little in tune human beings truly are. They don't realize that mercury is bad for us. It, any amount there is available. Doesn't matter how small the amount, keep it away from people. Then these other idiots come up with this idea that, hey, you know what? Our other poison will last longer if we pack it in this other shit. <laughs> but we'll just oh. tell them it's such a small dose that they won't even notice it. But it doesn't matter yeah. how small the dose of mercury is or what you call it. <laughs> Changing yeah. the name does not change the results of what you're doing. <laughs> Actually, you would probably be surprised how many doctors don't know that thimerosal is mercury. Mercury, yeah. Well, we label a rock band and everybody knows, but, you know, relabel a poison and eight people figure it out. <laughs> and then when yeah. they talk about it, they get called names for, hey, what kind of nut job are you? That's, that's what I hear, you know. It's what I see yeah. in the response is that, oh, you got a fucked up way of looking at all this here stuff there, sport. And I'm not the one that's living in a world that's collapsing around them, though, where I can't see that it is. I see the collapse happening. Yeah, it's not pretty. Oh, no. And uh, the bigger place where you live, the worse are it's going to be. There you go. Well, you know, collapses are rarely pretty anyway. What would Bullwinkle do, Miss Mary? Hmm? Watch me pull a rabbit out of my hat. <laughs> that trick never <Yeah>. works. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> my sleeve. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit, I need a seven and a half. Anyway. See? See? Try a smaller hat there, Bullwinkle. <sighs> yeah, well, no, he needs a big enough hat. Well, okay. Does he need a big enough hat to go over the antlers, or does he need a small enough one to fit between the... Oh, dear God, I just refreshed a page on the internet, and there's Camel Toe Hairy Ass. Oh, dear Lord. Wow, what a name. Grimmy gave it to her, and oh, my Lord, it's got a... I, don't, I saw a, a I don't meme recall earlier him. today about all of these black women that are hmm. bitching about white... Uh, privilege and white supremacy and yeah. and uh, patriarchal society and mm. they're all married to white men and Don Lemon was one of them and I about peed myself I was laughing so hard. <laughs> oh, big good. Because Camel Toe Hairy Ass is not a black woman. Sorry, no. hate to no. tell you that. I don't care. I see the. I'm just looking at this thing for you know, comic relief. Well. They yeah. said when Trump was running against Hillary, there's no way in the world Trump was going to win. That was the word. That was the law. That was what everybody had said. And then they had the selection. And the uh, electoral college decided. Can't say that word correctly. Electoral college. <laughs> they decided, hey, let's, let's uh, vote Trump. Extra 20 grand in it for you if you vote for Trump there, Bosco. And I read something the other day that actually those, that 3 million votes that Shrillery supposedly won by, nah. Nah. Because after a little bit of investigating, nah, those were not valid. So, oh, you know, whatever you want. Valid. I don't know. I don't believe in any of this trap in the first place, but it's a good story. Well, <sighs> You know what no, my favorite story the, is? What's that? That after Hill Dog fucking massacred Gaddafi like she did and bragged about what she fucking did, that mm -hmm. she's never going to suffer a day in her life for what she did. 
but at this point, what does <coughs> excuse me? What does it matter? Oh my God, I got the I got the shrillery vid. <coughs> well, it's yeah, appalling. Got all choked up. It is appalling to me that enough people are aware of what she did. She has been upfront about what she did, and enough people are oh. going, "Hey, well then, fuck you, bend over, bitch." Well, this woman is beyond all the reach of the people that could do that. Yeah. Nobody's beyond the reach of of repercussions. Sure, they Nobody. are. Oh, please! No. They're doing no. it every freaking day. Please. That doesn't mean that it's not adding up. It well, just means that the, when the snowball finally does hit, it's yeah. going to be a big some bitch. Come on, Trump played the Corona fucking bullshit game with us. You know, I mean, between shows, I, we were on the air on Thursday, and between the Thursday show we did and the next one. Uh, Trump had a contracted and beat the corona in like a week. <laughs> Some okay. deadly virus. This fucking bullshit. Give me a break. Well, it is bullshit. Yeah. But there's an awful lot of people that don't realize. That. I know that. There's an awful lot of people that when you. When you read some of this stuff, you know, like the Theraflu or any of the other things that you're supposed to take for the flu to help you get over it sooner, you know, if you actually have a healthy immune system, it only takes about three to four days to get over the flu, which that's what coronavirus is. It's a flu strain. That's what it is. But people that they look at these packagings and these packagings tell you that if you're not feeling better after seven to de- ten days please contact a doctor what okay if you're not feeling better after seven to ten days odds are you've got something worse than the flu going on number one because the normal flu only takes you about three to four days to get over so when trump got over it quote unquote hmm. in three days yeah Big whoop. That's how long it takes me to get over the flu bug. Unless, you know, the one time I got a flu shot and I was sick for a week. But that's because uh, they injected okay. that right. shit okay. along with all kinds of other poisons there. into my system. And my body went, fuck this. Wow, you're taking all the fun out of my Trump slap. I know. Well. I'm telling you. I, I'm so tired of all of that crap well right uh, but who see, cares it because the media and the other whatever is well, keeping it alive by performances making it continue to look real when it's a I story know, he's gonna kill all these people he's gonna uh, give them all the rona because by god he's out there without a mask okay be uh, empty i'm out yeah. there without a mask i haven't given anybody the uh, rona yet yeah and if you it's did, they no didn't worse. complain. They thanked you for it. <laughs> well, I've been around my mother an awful lot, and she has not got mm-hmm. the Rona. So. Well, you know what? It's sad that you, you look at people in these freaking masks, and they got no face. Ew. Because yeah. Cirque made a picture of herself with a mask on, sent me from the train so I can see her little get up. And I went, oh, you've got no face. You're out there in the world, and you all, all you all look alike. Ooh. Actually, just like you know, in the movies. What? I uh, what? saw a link the other day. You so did. I have it right here. <gasps> a link. It's from LegalInsurrection dot com, and it's the CDC report shows that of COVID infected people, seventy one percent had always worn a mask. So, Ooh. there you go. I'm not Wear for that it. Mask. You know, Get the Rona. Well, yeah. See, I'm for you wearing the mask. Me, I'm not for me wearing a fucking mask for nothing. I don't like doing it. For I, me wearing one. I get this uncomfortable feeling when I go near a bank with a mask on my face. So, no, I don't want to do that at all. Because I don't even like wearing a mask on Halloween. So, yeah, but hell. see, it's I been. Mean, that's the day when you're supposed to. It's been ingrained into my DNA through movies, though, that when you wear a mask into a bank, bad things happen. Bad, bad things. And here they want me to go wear a mask to go do banking. Are you? Not here, but other places. Yeah. I'd be fucking terrified to go in the place wearing a mask because I'd worry about being shot. 
<laughs> yes. So where did they get this whole generation full of bumble fucks that are willing to put themselves into a bank where nobody can see each other? <laughs> it's well, nuts. Yeah. <laughs> but it's enough to let you know that the fluoride and the chlorine and the nanoparticles of aluminum, for those that say that there's aluminum everywhere and you drink out of aluminum cans, well, that's a, just a wee bit different from nanoparticles that are injected directly into your bloodstream. But, you know, it just shows that uh, all of those lovely little things have wiped. Then it continue to work, have all too. these people that are brain dead. Well, see, here we go. I get disappointed in thinking that because... It's what they were taught. It goes beyond. Yeah. It goes beyond understanding stuff. You, it's like religion. You, some people are insulted when their religion is insulted. Wow. Okay. <sighs> yeah. That's like uh, hitting a building with a stick. And who feels that? The building? No. <laughs> I'll take the shot for it. Oh, I felt that for the... No, you didn't, you dumbass. Yeah. But that's how we're treating this. Like, eh. it, There's no arguing with it either. You can't argue COVID publicly. Get shut down every time. Yeah. Well, that way they well, they can't kill it and call it what it truly is, which I, it's a hoax. An, extra, an exaggeration of a... Mental disorder, basically. <laughs> Fear of dying is is not with it's not within all of us constantly. You know, most of us don't really think about it, but the government likes us to think about it. <laughs> well, the problem with this whole fear of dying nonsense, yeah, yeah. is that now people are afraid to go out there and live. Well, we're going to get rid of all of them soon. So, you know, I I don't know. I guess I'll miss them when they're gone. But they're going to take a trip because you can't survive life locked down inside with no sunlight and no exercise. That's how people die. <laughs> or yeah. at least become crippled physically or mentally. So yes. if you followed that regime, that was the government's mandates to you to fuck you up. Is what I saw, and I ain't doing any of it. No, thank you. Poor surf, they they have to lock me up and should be like all bummed. <laughs> so we're not in that kind of shit. But if we were, we, poor surf. <laughs> well, because yeah. it could happen. Well, it's only going to get worse. These freaking uh, what do you call it? The media, the news media is responsible for the results of all this shit. Because they pound into the idiot that thinks the news is the truth, that all this crap. So these poor people are running around at the expense of their, their neighbor repeating a whole bunch of bullshit. They have no idea they are. They mm -hmm. sadly believe the things they're saying are true. <laughs> and because of what they're doing, the results in the end will make the story true later. And by then it won't matter because people will really be sick and dying and it'll be too late. Yeah, and then they really can blame it on the COVID because the COVID yep. is what caused them to do the mandate, See? which actually caused the problem. But we didn't know but that. Yeah, It was because of the COVID that yeah. they did the mandates yeah. that caused it. Because for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. No. Hey, yes. we're... Wait a minute. <laughs> I Are know. You, it's crazy how that works out. Where's your link? <laughs> where's my link? <laughs> where's your proof? Uh, it's, I, it's in a chain. I need verifiable proof. <laughs> I, I have a link. It's on a chain. <laughs> it's hanging up with my other chains, you know, that have like dangly things hanging off of them. They're called necklaces. Um, but that's the links I've got. I don't have a missing link because that would mean I have a broken necklace and I'd get rid of those. Grim, so no missing link. Grim has a missing link. He does? Yep. On his RLM chat site. Sweet. Yep. 
and he, the missing link comes in every day to inform us of what's happening in the free world. Aha. <laughs> uh-huh. Just joking around. Anyway. And here I thought Grimmy was the missing link. Maybe. He's half Uman, half outer Poor space Grimm. guy. <laughs> okay. Because you know, he's, he's really out of this world sometimes. I mean that in a nice way, Grim. Well, Honest, I, do. I just what? well, I heard this guy the other day on a link explaining that the reason that you know Johnny Average is so easily bamboozled by the news, and that it's a matter of well, he, Johnny doesn't have time to go on the internet and open a link. No, he would he would never think of that. That's what the news is for. Well, where did Johnny? Uh, average get an idea like the news is real when they tell you right there that they're not. See, it's all it's all part of the uh, the plan, yeah, and it has worked incrementally all along yeah. because now they've got people. People don't even click on links anymore; they just go by the headline. Oh. I know that just from when I was doing my podcast, and I would click on a headline, and I thought, oh, this is a cool headline, and then the article was nothing like the headline. But most people just click on the headline. Well, you know, they go by that. They don't bother actually reading. And why is that? Because they have the attention span of a goldfish. Wow. Wow, oh, you're sitting in the seat of judgment. Hey, the Kanucky stands figured that one out. Yeah, well, the hoopa. <laughs> Scan stands can do whatever they like. I believe in freedom and stuff. Until, see, that's where you don't believe in freedom is when my freedom is, I want to bomb the shit out of your freedom. Then all of a sudden, the rules of freedom suddenly take a change. (laughs) We're going to bring democracy to your part of the world. How are we going to do that? We're going to bomb the shit out of you until you go along with our majority ruling over you. That's, oh, that's how that works. That's just the Jew bankers having a giggle. Calm down. I know. Jeez. I know. So are you still keeping notes on the Jewy Bastard meetings? No. I've never been. What the hell? I've never been invited to a Jewy Bastard meeting. I'm not Jewy they Jew. They didn't send you the memo. No, I'm not like super Jewy Jew. I'm only Jew, Jewy like. You know, I kind of look like a Jew, but yeah, you can't really put your finger on why, except for boy, that nose is big. <laughs> you know, well, I come into the room and I breathe in all the good air, like Hannibal Lecter. I can tell you what. How many days you been wearing your underwear, baby? <laughs> oh, uh, wow! You uh, you usually wear clean underwear, but not today. Now, <laughs> ah. today you're in a rush and you say, mm. "Well, what the fuck?" They'll never know. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> well, Clay. Uh, was it everything you thought it be? <laughs> Miss Kate is telling us to believe because the CDC is like the buy bowl. Fuck you know, you spell that a little bit different. It tells oh. you to buy some bowl. Just saying. Well, all, all around it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we're, we're taken away from thinking for ourselves and pushed yes. into follow this douchebag or Follow this turd sandwich because we got both those streets covered. But if you want to go down this street, we will not protect you. And that's the street that I want to go down. (laughs) The street Ah. that the government will not protect me on is the street I want to be on. There you go. So I got what I wanted. Uh Aha. Yep. You know, you said something about that, and all of a sudden what popped into my head was mm-hmm. <clears throat> a mobile poop manufacturing system, which is basically someone in a skin suit. Because, I mean, you eat, you poop. You eat, you poop. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Because but you're a mobile poop factory. Yeah, we're, 
I call us carbon basers because we're carbon based platforms. And I shortened it down to two words out of four. Yep. Because if I said basers, then you'd think I'd be talking about speed freaks or something. So I had to put carbon basers in here to make it clear. Mm. Yep. See, when I'm a uh, when I'm a, a successful cult leader someday, you know, after the Great Reset, <laughs> the Great Reset wow. is coming. People think I'm nuts because of the way I'm looking at this game, this financial game they're playing, and my timing seems to be a little different than other people's timing. But I, well, you know, there's but, always a reset coming, and there's oh there's yeah. Also, Always the new world order. It's just that what kind of new world order do you want to have? Do you want to have one where you have a bunch of control freak ass hats that can do whatever they damn well please to everybody else and punish you when you call them out for it? Or do you want to have a new world order where, you know, everybody kind of sort of gets along with everybody and if you're a dick, then you get called out for being a dick and mm. you get to wear that lovely little... Mm. D letter instead of the scarlet letter. Oh, yeah. D for scarlet. Got it. Yeah. So, <laughs> uh, whatever. D for scarlet. I would, I would much rather have a world where everybody, you know, had to deal with the repercussions of their decisions and receive the rewards of their decisions and their work. They're more interested in wearing their colors. Represented right. by the right thief makes a big difference in the voter world. I know. Because don't pick their thief. No, 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 no. Pick our thief. Our thief, he's way better than their thief. What? Did, did you see that Larkin Rose video? No. About that? No. I don't. Yeah. I don't know. I might have, but. I'm not big on quoting other people, but I like Lark and Rose. I think, I think, I think, I think this is it. I think it's called A Shot in the Dark, and it's basically um, Larkin and Larkin trying to convince his wife that she should vote for Larkin or Larkin. Aye, 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 aye. Yeah, you know, they're, uh -huh. he's playing both sides of the fence and oh. trying to convince her that, you know, I'm a better thief. Oh, no, that's the wrong video. That's a shot in the dark. That's oh. the one. Wow, you're cracking me up today. Now you're doing your impression of me. See how you oh, are? See hey. how you are? Yeah, huh? shot huh? in the dark huh? is a good video, okay. too, Grimmy. All right. That's the one about inoculations. I'm getting so confused. Confused. Uh, trying, okay. to, trying to catch up with you guys here. You're going too fast. I know. Uh, Help okay. me, help me, and slow down. I need to find my history so I can find Larkin, so I can share it in the chitty chat. Yeah, I want to put it in the notes for the uh, radio people. Hey, Mental's posting shit there. Hey, we're on the air live, you maniac. Hey, Mental! Uh, shut in the dark. Oh, right in the well, dark. That, that one is actually about inoculations. Well, that's um, what a shot in the dark should be about. There it is. Election day. Oh, wait a that's minute. That's what it's called. Oh. Not a shot in the dark. Right. Erection yeah, day. No. Uh, we're erection gonna get day. Erection. erection day. We're going to come to the erection, and everybody's going to be happy with me. Big happy ending. Ooh. There you <laughs> go. Watch out, monkey. There's erection day. You're going to well, end up with a douchebag or a shoot sniper. Oops. And and what's even better than this one is Larkin's also got another Larkin out hiding behind the trees. That's the third party candidate. That's just as much of a thief, but they're hiding behind the trees. So okay. there you go. So now the serious guy is doing satire on in, on the internet webs. Well. Yeah. You know, he's always done those wonderful little videos to kind of let you know, like the ton the little red dot and all that other fun stuff. He's he's done lots of videos to kind of yeah. visually show I, people. I put it in the notes for you there, Miss Murray. I, I, Sweet. I, awesome. Hey, you know what? It's just what? the the Canadians don't impress me. 
I am not a follower of the Canadian kind of way, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so, uh, Larkin Rose has some good points to be made and all that kind of shit, but the man lives in a shithole and, you know, things have gotten worse since he started making videos. Well, have you ever noticed that a bruise always looks a lot uglier as it's healing? You know, because it starts out that that really kind of unusual looking purple, which if you've noticed, when you combine red and blue, they make purple. But it starts out purple, and then it goes to that ever so attractive greenish, yellow, brown, icky oh. color. All right. See, all right. I don't see this guy the way you guys do. Grimner even said right there. Larkin has always done satire. Okay. Well, the yeah, shit yeah. I seen him do seemed like he was pretty serious. They took his kid and shit, right? That that guy. They uh, fucked with his family and all this. Just fucked with him. I he, think I think he went to jail. Yeah, and for the, tax evasion. And he came back and made a bunch of videos. That that's the guy, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, I don't find him. I don't find him satirical. I find him very satirical. Hey, I made up a new word on the dark table. Satirical. Yeah. I feel so much better now. I feel like I have achieved the impossible because I don't like being satirical. <laughs> satirical. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. like be, you know, like riding a bike. It's got its good points, but then again. Got bad points too. In the hierarchy of travel, bicycles are hated by cars. Oh yeah. So there you go. Well, you know, if you're going to have an enemy in the world, wait a minute. That's not fair. That fucking thing weighs like twenty times more than you do. How fair well, is that? At least if it's walking. You got a chance, but if they're driving in a car, you're you're going to get hurt. See, and the thing that I have noticed over the years between bicycles and cars is back in the day when I was a kid mm-hmm. and we rode bicycles everywhere, um, we watched out for traffic because we knew cars were bigger than us. And we knew that if they hit us, we would be the ones that got hurt. They might get a scratched fender or something like that, but we would be the ones that got hurt. Nowadays, it's, hey, can't you see I'm riding my bike? Uh, Excuse me? Yes, I can, but I'm Hmm. much larger than you. And um, if you really wish to ride your bike, why don't you ride your bike defensively instead of offensively or offensively? Glad I brought it up. To, that to me, it's just the world has gotten again to be more of a me 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 me, as opposed to hey, I'm not the only one out here. Maybe I ought to be a little bit more considerate. And that also holds true for vehicles as well, because we just two days ago had someone that was um, with the grain trailer got ran off the road by someone in one of those um, crew cab pickups, a nice fancy schmancy, and you know. Witnesses saw this happen. The crew cab pickup came back and saw, you know, checked on after the semi had rolled off into the ditch. They drove back, looked at it, then turned around and drove off real fast. So, yeah, they're looking for whoever drove. I haven't heard yet if they caught whoever it was that drove him off the road or ran him off the road. But you got selfish assholes out there all over the place that seem to think it's okay for me to drive someone else off the road. Oh, it looks like they're moving. They're not dead, so I can get out. Yeah, he's not dead. He's got a broken neck and a couple of broken vertebrae and broke one of his legs and one of his arms. But, hey, he's not dead. How do you know he didn't just accidentally fall asleep and run off the road? Um, hmm. 9 o'clock in the morning. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm just saying, is there room yeah. for... Uh, all right. Because usually the story you get told in the first place is the results of a little bit of thinking and instead of it being the truth. It's what, just yes. what I'm used to. Yeah. Yes, I get that. People you know, feed you... a couple other witnesses that right. saw the black truck drive him off the road. Basically because 
the black truck was passing in curves, and you just flat ass don't do that out here on two lane roads. But Miss Mary, but, when uh, when 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 we yeah. tell you what to do, you're doing. I know that's, you're doing your. But no, because people people think they see shit that's not there all the time too. So. Oh, I know. I know. Wow, the last thing in the world I would want to be the victim of is another person's opinion as a, of what they saw me do. Go fuck off with your opinion. <laughs> That's what I think. Well, there and you go. My vision is so fucking bad. I'm telling you. Uh, I wouldn't trust my own vision as a reference to go, yeah, I saw this happen. Because sometimes when I see things, and well, oh, and I get closer to them, and they're not what I thought they were from the distance. So I'm I'm more surprised when I do see something that's not completely crazy than when you know when I don't. Hmm. Okay. Well, yeah, like from a distance, uh, trees or things that are uh, stationary look like people, and until I get within a couple of hundred feet, I can't tell it's a tree or a person. Ah. You know, depending on colorings and. Daytime, now, is that day. with your glasses on or without yeah, your glasses? Yeah, no, they're they're just reading regular reading glasses. So when I re- when I wear those out, to, I can't see shit. I can see uh-huh. three feet in front of me or so, dude. And then the rest of it's like fuck that. <laughs> it's like being loaded only, like buy it's like buying a drink, walking around. Ah. <laughs> Look. Oh, I shouldn't. I should wear my distance glasses when I go out in public. But I do reading when I go out there. And I don't want to do all that changing back and forth. Then I, I tried ah. bi- bifocals once, but fuck that. That's <laughs> no. Why don't you take these things and give them to a friend? Go experiment on the foreigners. <laughs> ah. Yeah. Well. I don't like wearing my glasses most of the time either, but, yeah. I can see a lot better than you can. I hope so. so. Good (laughs) Lord. Wow. If that was my only ability to judge the world by, I'd be in big trouble. Well. I couldn't tell us. Yeah, I would be in big trouble, too, because then I wouldn't be able to read my computer screen without glasses. And, by golly, I want to be able to read it without glasses. Now, I wouldn't so, be able to tell a skunk from a cat from 100 yards without glasses, so it doesn't ah. matter. <laughs> See? But skunks are not indigenous to where I live. But they are part of my evil plan. Oh. Ah, yeah. Well, you know, we all got secrets and dreams that we want to someday see happen. And I got this idea about trained attack skunks. Huh? Think of that one. Trained attack skunks. Yeah, and then the the ritual that the skunk goes through when it attacks is seriously fucking bent in the first place. This is it's the most disgusting <laughs> thing. It stands on its front legs and sprays you <laughs> from a sack yeah. by its butthole. So, <laughs> whoa! Yeah. Now, can you imagine? There's probably some maniac scientist out there, a warmonger, that's trying to figure out how to train the skunk <laughs> to attack at will. <laughs> By orders, well, you know, maybe through like a, an implant. <laughs> see, and now I'm getting a visual right. of a skunk gun yeah. where someone's holding <laughs> a skunk and the backside pointed at everyone else and they just pull the tail back every time they want it to spray. Man, that is... Wow, see, it inspired Woo! you. I didn't think it would inspire you. The tomboy in you lives. Yes, it does. <sighs> Only Mary would take it a step further and make a Tommy gun skunk. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You're like, yes. The, well, like the Tim I Taylor think. of women. <laughs> <laughs> That's because I live out in the boonies. More power. <laughs> yeah. okay. More power. Yeah. Okay, I got it. I'm back. Okay. 
I mean, yeah, it made me laugh because you know you're mechanical and you really do that kind of stuff. <laughs> I do not have a pet skunk though. That's 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 a good thing. Yeah, but when, when I was a teenager, I remember the girls, the age group that I was in, and none of the girls had a problem with getting in there and changing a set of spark plugs. To find out, hey, what do I do if my car, you know, to keep my car running so I don't have to pay a bunch of money I don't have to, to fix it? And one thinks like dirty spark plugs every six months because can't afford the really good gas. You just get the you know regular gas. It's not that good. Gives you thirty five products to have to clean such. But ah. yeah, but the. The group that I hung in, the males or the females, everybody would had an interest in it for self preservation. You know, it was nobody was too good to to get their hands dirty on their car. So, well, yeah. But it was weird. Well, I grew up in a weird time because things have changed. Now you need a PhD in astrophysics to work on a nineteen, you know, or twenty twelve. Cutlass. They even make a cutlass anymore. I don't know. The Ford uh, Clitoris. No, no. Old, Oldsmobile ha- was gone by then. See, I, I, I come from a whole other world. And the world that I'm in doesn't miss the other world. Well, and that's a good thing. But they don't match, do they? Day and night. I mean, people are wearing oh. masks to go on a train or go into a bar to get served a drink and do not see, wait a minute, this does not make any fucking difference in what you're applying it to. It's just performance art. You look stupid doing it, too. They uh, put on a mask to take trash out, too. Uh, yeah, oh my god, well, I'm going to yeah. be stepping outside of my house with a bag of trash to go to the trash can. I must have oh. a mask on. Oh, I thought you were being more like real about like somebody that worked at a dump. <laughs> no, Where it like, really smells. People actually walking outside of their houses with a bag of trash to go put it in the trash can. Must wear a mask. Oh my god. Yeah, but really? you're uh, your old factory nerve will uh, it will adapt to your situation. Did you know that? Do what now? Your olfactory nerve will adapt to the present situation you are yes. in. Yes. Whatever it is. Yep. Yeah, it gets used to the aroma. Yeah, it, and it sends to your brain some kind of freaking idea that you don't notice whatever horrible thing that was. Except for Pascagoula, Mississippi, where that paper mill smell, you got to be there for a little while to, to lose that one. <laughs> that was my experience. Yeah, well, people said, I don't even notice it anymore. But how long had, had they been there for that to take place? <laughs> it was like, wow. Ooh. Like a turkey farm, you know, that, that kind of slap you in the face stench. Where after a period of time, if you're around it, you get used to it. You go, ah, what? You big city sissy. <laughs> big city sissy. Woo! Go back to the city, you big city sissy. sissy, sissy, sissy. I know. So, uh, Dang it all. but only you would make a skunk gun. Uh, yes, I would. Huh. Yes, I would. Well, I don't. I don't see. I don't know how you could teach an animal to act like a gun. Hmm. Well, if you raise them from a baby, although if you do have a pet skunk, odds are you have already had the uh, the stink gland removed. Because if you don't, whew, yeah, or the loneliness of other children. <laughs> Oh, you know, yeah, because nobody would come around you and your pet skunk. But like they say, you know, you can get a use to anything. And you know what I read? What actually gets rid of the skunk smell? Out of all this remedy crap they come up with, all this tomato juice bullshit, you go, no, that's a bunch of nonsense. 
You're not going to believe what it is. What is it? Hydrogen peroxide and baking soda. I forget oh, yeah. what the mixture would be, but I guess it would matter for the... I don't know what it would matter for. Uh, for the balance of the mixture. Because it would have to, you know, this so much of this and so much of that gets this result. But I didn't write down the numbers because I don't do that. I believe a person should do their own fucking research. By God, I'm going to prove it by making a claim that you, you got to go prove I'm wrong. <laughs> oh, I see how you are. I'm going to be like the government. By God, country, y'all going to die to COVID. Shut the fuck up. Wear this mask. <laughs> what? Hey, oh, come here, talk to me. No, wait, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Yeah, That's what the government does. I was doing my impression of Uncle Sam. How'd I do? Um, you done good. That was. Uh, oh shit! What? 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 My inner, my uh, browser. Whoa! You just got to boot it out of the realmediamedia.com chat. Yeah, my browser just went. Mary, Mary goodbye. was being cruel, and she got booted out on her. But <laughs> that was. I don't know why, but my browser just wow. went goodbye. Well, I would assume that the in the United States of America, where everybody is meant to stay as fucked up as possible, like Europe, yeah, hmm. that uh, hmm. it's probably the part of the plan. Rolling problems. And Interruptions and in services, and these things to keep people on edge. So you've got an election coming up that's going to change the world, according to the Electoral College. Did you yeah. see that link that Grimner put up about there's a possibility, mind you, that the Electoral College could tie? And then what do you do? <laughs> um. Huh? I don't know. It could be interesting. What? I never heard of that. Wait a minute. How? They? It could happen. It's a possibility in the odds of political selection. <laughs> I don't. Hmm. <laughs> so, it cracks me up, Mary. I mean, it's real to a degree, but then again, not really. Well. You know, you have enough people that believe it. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Well, their Danes are all around me, okay? And I'm living in their, you know, their society, but I'm not one of them. But they're not mean to me because I'm not one of them, so. Ah, so they're not <sighs> a bunch of mean girls, huh? Nah, they're not a bunch of mean the kid and the kids down at the grocery store are always freaking nicest. The ones that want to practice their English are always real glad that I, you know, ended up in their area, so they get to practice their English. And the ones that aren't don't. Then I know. Oh, cool. Avoid me, please. Avoid the American man. Don't come to my line. <laughs> yes, because I cannot converse with you. Well, or don't want to. There's, a, you know, human nature, dear. You got to understand, your appearance can make somebody freak out in levels they're not even aware of their self. They just go, "I ain't talking to you." Yeah. Depending on your indoctrination to the bad guy world, come on. Because I just shaved off my beard after like five months or something. Went, Holy shit! I didn't recognize you without your beard. <laughs> oh yeah. Hmm. But, hmm. I do, you know, I do what I want when I want to, and all like that. Just like I say, there's you're just you a know, flash of Rooney. I yeah, but people are so I don't. They're so impulsive. They just do shit, and then they think they're on schedules and they're doing plans. They're not. They're just aware of something that needs to be done. Then the, the clock is a good excuse. To, oh, I'll do it between now and then. <sighs> Cause we're, oh, Grimmy we're, says what? that the Constitution has a contingency plan for the elections laid out in Article 2, Section oh, 1. Yeah. If there be more than one who have such majority or... 
If there be more than one who have such majority and have an equal number of votes, then the House of Representatives shall immediately choose by ballot one of them for POTUS. Mm -hmm. Ah, now we see evil plot has been. Uh, <laughs> we're going to try to split the electoral college vote. See, yeah, cause it so really, she can be president. Right. It, it, see, it has fuck all to do with its popular vote shit. These people are going putting their self through. If they didn't have the damn popular vote, these guys would do the same thing they're doing any damn way. It wouldn't matter. So, I mean, when you started out with, well, Hillary didn't get this many or that many. And who gives a fuck how many or she got or not? And it's got nothing to do with what the Electoral College did. <laughs> you know, I'd, I'd read something the other day, and hmm. I don't remember where it was, what? where they were saying that the the reason why this whole 25th Amendment shit was being brought up was so that when Creepy Joe gets it, gets the selection, um, he will be immediately, and yeah, Camel Toe will go along with it, he will be immediately declared incompetent to hold the position. But Camel Toe also cannot be POTUS because, you know, she's got Jamaican and... Indian, as in over in India, um, parentage, and something about she's not a natural-born citizen, and so she cannot hold the office of POTUS either, so it will fall to the Speaker of the House, who is San Fran Man. And I thought, oh, that's a rather interesting hypothesis there. Hmm. I wonder if that's... I can't give Pelosi that much credit for thinking that up, but because I just really don't know that she's got enough functioning brain cells to come up with that. Sounds like fear porn to me, Miss Mary. Well, I thought that does sound rather interesting. Well, it's enough to keep a person angry. So yeah, it's just fear porn. It's just the design of it, the players. None of this stuff. Come on, who in their fucking right mind? would want any of these idiots in positions of power. Come on, really. Somebody that's rich, that's getting their fucking money because of it, would care. And the rest of us, nah. No, not so much. Oh, yeah. I mean, I don't... Uh, what? I don't know who... I don't know anybody that would want that job. My mother and I actually had that discussion. Mm -hmm. You know... What the hell would somebody want that job for? There's I mean, a royal. You can't ever do anything right. Okay, but there's a royal family here as well as oh, England, yeah. right? Well, okay, we see. Me and Cirque look at these things from two perspectives, but we see the same thing. Is they got the, these people? They're like a rock band doing the you know the front line shit for the for the masses. This big performance crap, and it's got nothing to do with the politics that go on. But the public doesn't know that. It's like having two sets of books. There's what we talk about, and there's what we do. And they never tell oh, yeah. you the truth about what they do. They tell you what they want to do, and what they meant to do, but... Or it's like when, when Hill died, bragged about wiping out Gaddafi. They get a little power mad and brag a little bit, but outside of that... Lion freaking thieves that need to be done away with. And here we sit. We can't do shit about it. Because they don't really exist. It's all an illusion. Yeah. Well, it's all ser how seriously you want to take it to your own life on a financial level. So I guess it would depend on the more... The deeper in debt you are financially the more real that this government seems to be. Because without debt, there'd be no reason to have a government. Yeah, the more of a vested interest you have in, yes. Yeah, because if, if me and Cirque didn't want to live inside under the confines of the safety of government, well, we wouldn't have a house. See? But she chose that. That's the way she wants to do it. There you go. Well, there you go. Then there's uh, responsibilities that have to be met to, to do the things that she wants to do. 
Well, you know, everything is a little bit of a give and take in this reality. Oh, it's a good thing she's one of those Danish people, because I'm not. Yeah. Yeah. It's like being uh, in America, and somebody comes over there and marries an American, and, and all my life I heard all that shit. Well, what's the big deal? Well, they married the American, and now they are they get treated the exactly the same. It's not right. So here I am living it. <laughs> it's like, wow. It isn't right, kind of, in a way. I mean, but I'm not really concerned about, like, the government giving me shit. If anything, I want the government to go away. Oh, no, no, no. Yes. <laughs> the least amount of interaction I have with any kind of governmental entity, the better off I am. I've waved at the cops a couple times over the years, and that's the extent of interaction with police. Because they're passing through here on their way somewhere else. They don't belong here. Not even, there's no way for us to call them. You got to call like the next city over to call the police. <laughs> like, so you got to really, really want them. Yeah, and nothing ever happens. I've been here a long time. And the shit that does happen is family kind of things that don't involve the outside anyway. They're going to happen one way or the other. Somebody in the family got hot and did something to somebody else in the family. Well, what? hate when that happens. Right, but come on. Sometimes spikes get out of control. That that occasionally is a thing. Yes. But so far, I think I read about it one time since I've been here. And it was some people from somewhere else, like me, from a faraway land. And the locals, they seem to keep their temper at each other and just get along. Very weird. It's like living in the twilight zone. I feel I'm waiting for, like, uh, Rod Serling to come out of a fucking walk walkway someday and say, Kate's in point. <laughs> 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 One flash somebody. Just what? two. <laughs> His own what? personal twilight zone. Ah. Yeah. You know, wouldn't that be kind of cool? But I don't know how many mushrooms I have to do to do it. You need shrooms to do that? Oh, I, I think that you could convince yourself before, like if you planned it. Yeah, I'm going to have a conversation with Rod Serlin while I'm on mushrooms. <laughs> some some could come of that. Could be interesting. You know, that would be an interesting conversation, although I don't know that I'd necessarily pick Rod Serling. I think mm -hmm. I'd go with uh, Samuel Clemens. I'd much rather have a chit-chat with old Tom, or not Tom, uh, Samuel Clemens, yeah. Tom Sawyer. Uh, Tom Sawyer is popping in my head, but that's not I know. Movie. I know how you think, <laughs> boy, after all these years. Mark Twain, there you go, yeah. Mark Twain. But Tom Sawyer, yeah. All these names, boy, we butcher some names, too, on the radio every now and again. Because there's sure. so many of them. Fuck. These are fun to butcher. You know. I'm in Christmas. So, after Eddie died this last week. Yeah. <coughs> Goodness. Wow. Excuse me. Yeah. So, I opened up a link. And by some coincidence, because I've, I've noted few times he didn't invent tapping he perfected tapping because of the way he played it but uh -huh. and and i seen him in a, in a link it's saying and for fuck's sake at the end of that uh, i didn't ever claim i invented it it's i use it because of the way i play and he explained how he tripped over the way to play it, it had something to do with uh seeing jimmy page and I thought, wow, oh. yeah, it does explain. Well, right. And each individual person that does some form of art, like a, a, a painter, for example, has a stroke technique, right? Uh-huh. Okay. Every guitar player has, if they're that uh, good at it, to that level of playing. Like Hendrix. Yeah, they've got he was their own. So he played a no, 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 no. I'm when talking about the way they bend a core, the way they yeah. produce the sound they make, not left or right-handed at all. No. Yeah, it's, but he had. I mean, he had a different. He had a 
certain technique to his. Yeah, it has nothing to do with whether he was left or right handed. It has to do with the art being similar to painting because it's the stroke that you use. It's your own personal stroke. And other people can copy what they see, but you'll always have your own personal stroke to you that's unique. And other people can copy it, but they'll never do it exactly the way you did it. It's like painting. Well, see, and, and I, I have to differ with you simply because I am a left-handed person mm-hmm. in a right-handed world. Mm-hmm. And so lots of times you have to have a different type of technique, especially with, you know, when I learned to crochet or knit or any of the, the needle craft things. And the teachers, because I learned in home ec class, basically, um, or at least the finer points of and they would tell me, you can't do it that way. You're doing it backwards. You're doing this. You're doing, you have to do it this way. And then they would come around and they would realize I was left-handed. So left-handedness can have an awful lot to do with the technique that he developed simply because he's a left-handed person in a right-handed world and a very, very left. And I know left-handed people that cannot do anything with their right hand. You know, it's basically just an appendage that's there to kind of help hold stuff. Other than that, they they can't do anything right-handed. You you ever notice it's always the 15% fucking it up for everybody else? Yeah. You're welcome. Uh, Yeah, well, you know, 15% (laughs) of this here. Wow. Fuck it. You're welcome. I... You'll be here for my... We're the ones here showing you that it can be done a different way. My Jew lawyers will be attacking you at dawn. <laughs> well, you just go ahead and send them, because I got a Bubba They're and a merciless. Snuffles. School, who's damn good at doing a little munchkin kitty figure eight around people's feet, so... Oh, like yeah, a... but my people learn to play the victim card better than your people, so you lose. Yeah, well... By the time my dogs are done burying them, I'd like to see them hold and that victim card up. I was comparing making a sound to the technicality of a, a, an artist's brush stroke. Because two people can paint the exact same picture, but using different stroke techniques. And it yeah. would only be, a, only be noticeable to somebody that really understands you know, paintings. So, yeah. well, right. And then you brought left or right handed into it that i've heard a lot of left-handed people that play just as badly as right-handed people so no oh i know no I know. no 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 but when, so, you, when well, you have uh, someone that is left-handed as yeah. opposed to right-handed yeah. in a right-handed world and yeah. is just as accomplished as the right-handed people and the right-handed people watch them and it's like i can't do that because you're playing backwards right but the numbers will never balance out no it, they won't but the, but the products still something i know the products that come out of the left hand are just freaking like ringo was left-handed that's how he managed to play some of the shit he played by yeah. trying to play a right-handed kit with a left-handed way and it's he said wow did work out the way you know it didn't work out the way you thought it would so they had a lot of fun with it instead of... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, drums are the same as a guitar. you got to play them one in a direction that's comfortable to the person playing them. The right hand will play right to, you know, left to right. You know, uh, left hand will play, you know, left, right to left. Like watch uh, Phil, what's his name? Phil Collins is left-handed. Ringo. See, have, I've never really paid that. I mean, oh, I've well, watched yeah, drum yeah, solos and stuff, yeah. and it's like, damn. Mm. Just like I've watched Eddie Van Halen do his, you know, and you you do realize Johnny Nash died on the same day as, as Eddie Van Halen. Mm. He just didn't get near the... I don't rock. know. I'm hoping, I'm hoping deep down inside me, I'm hoping that Eddie just fucking pretended to die and took off and fucking... Uh, Took a bunch of money and he's off in an island somewhere. I'd rather see that than him really being dead. Yeah, I think he fucked up when he let Valerie go. But that's just me. 
He did, He at least appearance-wise, he went downhill really bad once he and Valerie split. Okay, well, women. That doesn't, I know, women. That Right. That doesn't influence my... That's less important to me than his political affiliations. You know? Who you boink is your business. I don't really think that's a matter of interest. It's like a nuisance thing you got to think about. Ah. Yeah, I'm not big on all that celebrity crap. But when somebody's talented to that level of talent where they can make a sound that is so unique, you know it's them making it. That's impressive. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, the man built his own fucking guitars. And he invented shit. Try yeah. doing this differently and see what would happen. Blew up a lot of shit going on his way. Well, that's what, how you get where you go. And what's crazy is he started out doing the drums and his brother played guitar. And then he picked up guitar and played better than his brother. And his mm. brother beat him up. <laughs> I saw mm. him in an interview and he told mm. about that. And I mm. thought, yes, yeah, sibling love, brotherly love. That well, <laughs> yeah, because when you're young, too, uh, your own personal... I had a brother who was one year difference instead of two. So, yeah, I remember those days. That's my shit. You leave my shit alone. You got your own shit. Yeah. And then yeah. there was other shit that was both our shit. That was fair for a game. But, they went, hey, you don't you put your greasy Mexican hands on my shit. <laughs> now, burn your freaking t- teepee down and all your fucking friends in it. Yeah. What? Oh, well. well. We were mouthy when we was young. And then we grew up and said, fuck it. Don't want to talk to you no more. <laughs> well. I have that effect you know, on people, Miss Mary. It's hard to believe. Imagine that. Well, it's a serious world, right? Enough that I don't want to be wasting all my freaking time being serious. <laughs> so, you're never going to grow up. and I hope not. Shit. Poor Cirque. <laughs> Can you imagine Cirque woke up one day and I decided to be an adult? Well... All the fun's over. It's adult time. Get a schedule. <laughs> oh, man. Woodman asked what happened to Billy Squire, and so I I did uh, a duck, duck, go. Yes. Holy shit, he was born in 1950. Yes. He's an yes. old fart. Uh, older than us, <laughs> fart. Wow. Yes. Yeah. Oh, well. Well, you want to really give the sense. guy some competition or what? 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 What are you trying to say, little messy? I'm just saying that he's an old fart. Oh, cool. And apparently he's still around because yeah. it doesn't say anything about him being gone. But Yeah. Well, I was just uh, doing my uh, usual. Everything turns out to be the opposite of what I believed in the beginning. So I stopped doing that. I've tried to explain this many, many times. I don't know why it doesn't ever translate very well. Probably because it's my own crazy idea. But it's like with Ben Halen. I don't know. I mean, sure, he had history of being ill and all this, that, and the other. But here we are. We've been in lockdowns and distracted by it. You name it. It's happened in the last year. So it would be a perfect time to vanish. True. And the way they're writing the story, oh, his family had privacy around his illness. Yeah, well, people have been locked down and shut down and masked. And How do you know who who's who? <laughs> Give me a break. <laughs> yeah. We're being screwed left and right with all these celebrity tales, you know. Because now there's a rumor about, uh, what's his name, John Kennedy Jr. being alive. <laughs> Yeah, Holy he's been fuck. around for a while. All right, but still, I mean, if you can't believe the truth as it's written or told in the first place once, then you already know what you're looking at, don't you? Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Well, I kind of, I am of the opinion hmm. that Shrillery had 
JFK Jr. taken out so that she could win the Senate seat in New York. Or there was no way she was going to get it. See, or he thought of doing it and waiting thirty years to serve. I don't know, Mary. It's all a bunch of boo, boo shit to me anyway. It's just stories. I don't really care. I don't have a horse in this race. It makes no difference to me who wins or who loses. Don't give a shit. Well, I think it would be cool hmm. if he was still alive. And yet the first yeah. thing that popped into my mind after I'd, cause I'd listened to a video of someone talking about how he was still alive and he was going to be shown on such and such date. And I went, Mm, you know, there's going to be some crazies coming out going, he's the Antichrist. He fits the Antichrist bill to a T. He was dead and now he's alive. He's the it. And so I'm thinking, mm, I'm just not going to go there. Just not well, going to go there. you just didn't go there. Well, I did go there, but that that was one of those things where it's like, ah. Now you've done okay. it. I checked it out a little bit and yeah. now I'm done. Okay, what did you find out? Uh, that's as far as I checked it out. And it was like, no, no, no. Okay. So now I don't even know where, where you stand on it at all. Right? Is that what you're trying to do? Confuse me. I personally think Shrillery had him taken out. Oh, okay. All right. So you don't believe he's lying? No. Neither do I. I'm just saying that we live in a world where anything is freaking possible. No matter how insane it sounds when you hear it, and sadly, the more insane it sounds, <laughs> in the end, that's the truth. <laughs> you go, wow, no way. Yes way. Well, yeah. And it could very well be a Mandela effect kind of thing. Oh, no, not one of those things. Crying out loud. I'm so tired. Inc. Don't control my thinking with your titles. Mandela. <laughs> I got your Mandela. You know, the, the funny thing about the Mandela effect actually does make sense when someone explains to you that it could <sighs> actually be stepping into an alternate universe where um, things are so similar that only one or two things are different that stand out to you. And everybody else is going, what are you talking about? And you're going, no, no. I remember this. Uh, you're crazy. Hmm? No, maybe you just stepped into an alternate reality. I will resort to being vulgar, Miss Mary, to prove my point. I don't know. Well, See, oh, crying out loud. Well, that's what's fun about hmm. having the fallback of I don't know because I really don't know. Hmm. Well, I was not there. I do not know. But wouldn't it be fun if? And those kind of questions are always I find fascinating. Well, but what if? That's what we're what doing if? anyway. It's exactly what we're doing because we live where we live where nothing happens. And then we talk about shit in other places where shit happens. So there you go. Without that, what do you got? <laughs> no yeah. radio program, I'll tell you. Oh, so how's it going where you're at? Can't tell you. Secret. <laughs> We don't yeah, talk about yeah. those things where I'm at. <laughs> what? Now, see, Moosey said that she thinks JFK Jr. could be alive and faked his death. And that is another thing that that pops into see, my head and runs around every once in a while, yeah. is that it could be that he he got the no. skinny on what Shrillery was planning. And played along and with so it. And so all of this shit is a setup. But yeah. do I know? Uh, no, I don't. I have an opinion. See? That's what I'm saying. I don't know. I don't really care, though. <laughs> care less than you do. Well, if he is alive... Yeah. What? Uh, I, I, I kind of... I'm not real sure how that's going to go over. Yeah. But, you know, if he is alive, it would be cool if for no other reason than to see <laughs> Shrillery's face, yeah. you know, just just before she, like, keels over. But no, you other guys than think... that, I... You think so small? And I, I've had, I've heard people say that you don't call him Junior anymore because his father is no longer here, so he's just JFK. Hmm. You know, there's all kinds of theories out there, and right now I'm like, okay, you guys just keep juggling those theories. I'm going to get back to what is right here in front of me and deal. What with that. about if, as a punishment, they left Hill Dog loose or without Secret Service at a homeless place? 
a homeless camp. <laughs> Actually, I think it would be rather appropriate for them to just drop hmm. her into Haiti, Haiti and say, this is the person that absconded with our I don't thumb. think they'd have to tell anybody that. I think the people know. No, they wouldn't, but... Wherever you live, you always know what's going on with your own place. And then people go to other countries and talk shit about it. And it never lines up exact, but yeah, that that woman's probably very unpopular there. I haven't been there myself yeah. to prove it. But I haven't been there either, but from what I understand, you know, it is a beautiful place until the hurricanes hit. <laughs> oh, hurricanes but that's like hit. That's like a lot of places, you know, hurricanes come through and they rip the shit out of everything, kind of like Dernators do out here. So, uh, well, uh, uh. I just, I've got the Jew bone, so I just, I complain about weather, period, no matter where I'm at. It's what I well, do. It's, uh, it's in my your blood. Jew bone must be contagious, because I've been complaining about the weather out here for the last week, because it's freaking windy. Ah, well, yeah, that'll be an inconvenience. Hmm. Yeah. Well, what can you eh. do? Just have to live with it. I don't know. You got any other ideas? You going to change um, it? I ain't ballsy enough to tell Mother Nature to suck it up, Buttercup, because hmm. you, you don't mess with Mother Nature. <laughs> oh. She mess with you. Really? But, yeah. Like those hurricanes and... Hemicanes yeah, hurricanes and, and hemicanes and yeah, such. How do you yeah, feel yeah. about all that weather crap going on? I gave up following well, it years ago. Like weather warfare? Uh, hurricanes. <clears throat> I think the last one I was in was in North Carolina, but I don't remember what year. Wow, it's been a while. <laughs> Maybe eight or nine. Oof. I can't remember mm. now. See, but I've never. I've never experienced a hurricane, but I've experienced some pretty freaking ass nasty weather out here. Oh, so, been through two of them, but uh, eh. here where I'm living now, there's nothing extreme. It's always the big biggest problem is it might be humid, and on a, a cold side, it might have some snow for a day. <laughs> this might stick for two if it really gets cold, but outside of that, nope. Well, I would be happy to share some of the snow that no, I No, thank you. Cirque would love that, but not me. <laughs> I'm not, yeah, I have a funny feeling we're going to get quite a bit of snow this year. No. That is if you go by the old wives' tales and the, and the fuzzy-wuzzy caterpillars and stuff like that. Yeah. Well. Actually, my brother uh, that lives in um, hmm. where my mom is at. Hmm came and cut down all of her volunteer sunflowers. And I asked him, why are you doing that? And he said, because I don't want Mother Nature to think that that's how deep she needs to make the snow. <laughs> Which is a wives' tale, you know, that or the old timers out here. You watch the, the volunteer sunflowers, and however tall they get, that's how much snow you're going to get the following winter. And if that's true, holy carp, we're going to get some snow. So, Ooh. I can understand why he cut them all down because they were they were as tall as the eaves of her house. So Ooh, I can understand yeah. him cutting them down. Well, as long as life makes sense to you, that's all that really matters. Well, there you go. And when and it stops making sense to you, hmm, it's either them or you. <laughs> that point. That's when you back up and punt. <laughs> <clears throat> well, I I don't know if I. If I take your advice, I, Cirque doesn't want me to do that. So, whoops, I can't. I'm committed to a, a partnership that requires, you know, communication and such. We don't just go all willy-nilly and just do what we want at the moment anymore. For fuck's sake, we're adults for a minute here and there. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. Just, oh, <laughs> Moosey told me it's okay to say crap on the radio. <laughs> Is it okay if I say shit? <laughs> no, no. No. Go to your room, little missy. What are you doing Please? talking that shit on this radio podcast? Stop. <laughs> wash your mouth out with soap. 
Oh, I know. I know. <laughs> so, you know what I've been doing for the last couple of days? What's that? Oh, you're going to be so disappointed. I was uh -oh. watching <laughs> watching B movies on, uh, from like horror movies and and westerns on um what's that other thing called? Omletto or something something off the of YouTube that I found where they got these little short 15, 20, 30, 40 minute Western movies. And some wow. of them are really good. And some of them are just, well, you know, they give it a shot. They weren't as, they weren't as convincing as others. But there's some really funny stuff on the internet webs. If you uh, give it a try. And, Cause they were talking about, well, I hate, what do you call it? YouTube. I hate YouTube. Well, okay. If people can hate and dislike because of what a company does and what they don't do, all they like. And I believe a lot of what they're saying. But I also agreed with fucking YouTube has certain music on there that I can't find anywhere else. I go there because I know my own hardcore rock and roll shit that I like is on that site. When I go to other wow. sites, I can't find what I'm looking for because it hasn't got there yet. So... You know, as bad as YouTube is, it's got its purpose. So and it, it's not going anywhere. We can hate it and we can be against it. And they can do all the horrible shit they want to censor people and all that. But they got oh, the yeah. fucking. They, they did an awful lot of channel <clears throat> deleting over the last couple of days. So? What difference well, does it make? It doesn't fucking matter. We've all been conned into believing it's about dollars and cents, and it's not. <laughs> Oh, I know it's not to do with dollars and cents. And a lot of the reason why I noticed that so many have been missing is because I had set them to get notifications, and I barely get any notifications now because most of the channels that I got notifications from are gone. So Ooh. it was like a really quick swipe. Yeah, well, okay. But those decisions were made long ago. Oh, yeah. And they were just taking, they finally got around to doing them. So things are getting worse in a collective, as far as the collective goes. And the Danish, they, they censor through uh, privacy. Uh, so, oh, yeah. uh, well, one hand cuts the other. I don't, I don't think I should be censored. It should be my decision to not look. Well, and that's fine. And you know, see, that's one of those things where I... It's not where I live. All right. All right, you goofballs. You know, what the hell is the deal here? But that's the I mean, way it is here, it is, though. Well, I know, but, you know, these uh. people that seem to think, that's fake, that's false, that's... Oh, no, 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 no. Away no. your ability to even make that decision for yourself. It's right, like right, right. Sudden, right. You've got a nanny saying, you're not allowed. Right, but they're doing it based on a... a good principle so they got you see they got you by the balls but it's just to me censorship it's justified through the reasoning because it's for your own good and in a sense yeah. if you're in the financial world it truly is to protect you but that's just as bad as this uh corona crap i don't want to be protected from no fucking corona get the fuck away from me i'm a grown man leave me the fuck alone if I want to wear a mask or don't, that should be my my decision, not yours. Leave me a, leave, leave me be. And we live in this world where other people think that they've got a right to tell you what to do because of their feelings. Not even about anything proven. It's just I feel this way. Oh, look, see me rubbing myself. <laughs> yeah. Here, taste yeah. this carrot. You know where that carrot's been up my ass for three days. Here, taste it. No, pass on your carrot. No, thank you. The magical no, carrot of state. The one that helps you decide who to vote for. <laughs> well, it won't <laughs> Decide who to what? vote for, Barry. Like, there are know. people in the world right now that already don't know who they're going to vote. That I have no idea who. Who could I vote for? Who are the choices? You don't know who the choices are? <laughs> what? I mean, how could you be undecided at this point, right? Uh, you know, maybe saying undecided is, 
is um, code for none your business. Well, that used to be the standard of it. True. Yeah. Rob Work said, note to self, never eat carrots at Flash's house. <laughs> <laughs> I was making fun of Karen, you idiot. <laughs> I swear. Yeah, well. <laughs> Fuck this. Wow. Turns my Karen joke again. Me. I'll, I'll get, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. There's something really, really wrong with you. Ah, apparently. Wow. I was just making a point of people, in my opinion, are so gullible. They're believing the most ignorant freaking story there is to tell without having any real knowledge of what they're making a decision about. They're just doing what they're told. And that's pretty, that's, that's a carrot up your ass. <laughs> or maybe a pineapple. <laughs> Ooh. The pineapple rape situation of 2020. Well, it so looks like that to me. If you're willing to do all this other shit, here's a table for you to. Here, lay down on this table. I got a pineapple. We're going to have uh, some real fun now. Well, I'm going to have fun. You, not so much. <laughs> I have a prickly pear for you. Yeah. See, mm, yeah, because. No, thank you. You know what? My wife eats pineapple on pizza. It's, it's wrong. It's wrong. Oh, man. It's wrong. Yeah. There's just some. I mean, I can see pineapple on a fruit pizza. I've done no. that. Go you know, away. You know, I made a fruit pizza. Go away. You don't eat just tomato sauce. That's but, just so wrong. Uh, okay. You know, being intelligent is knowing that a tomato is a fruit. Being wise is not incorporating it into a fruit salad. Therefore, if you're going to make a fruit pizza, do not use tomato paste. <laughs> well, Just because it's a fruit but doesn't luck, mean it will go well. Luckily for the Real Liberty Media, that brings us up to the very end of this particular Dork Table episode, Miss Mir, where we ranted and raved about the most ridiculous crap. <sighs> yes, we did. Well, we threw a little and Rona. Stuff yeah, too. we threw a little Rona in there, you know, to balance the scale. But for the most part, it was just twitters and twatters about nothing in particular. Wow. <sighs> well, I'm really having trouble doing radio solo now for some reason. It's like there's nothing left to say. So, without a partner, it's just kind of dull. I'm not enjoying doing that, so I can't find my can't find a motivator to get in there and do something. Ah, uh, mm. so your muchness relies on another, eh? Yeah, oh yeah, I'm definitely not a solo guy. No, 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 no. Well, not on a, on a regular, not especially with so little going on in the world. You know, who's getting invaded? Nobody. Why? Corona. Boo. <laughs> boo. Boo, Corona, boo. How can we Open drop the all bomb, these bombs? No, nah, how can they drop all the bombs if they got the Corona? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Grimmy says you need to do radio with hands. Hands will not... Hansel? Hansel will not take the... He will not do it. I have asked him time and time again. I have even told him I will listen to his crap if he gets on the radio and does it. But after all these years, I've come to the conclusion that Hans is a 15-year-old girl with a lisp and does not want to face us. <laughs> hmm. Okay, maybe I'm exaggerating a little bit. Or a lot. I twist my arm here. Ah. Hey, but. you know what we were talking about, JFK Jr. Oh yeah. And I opened a parlor account just because I kept seeing all these people and I thought, Oh what the hell, we'll go over there and check it out. And Starblazer over on Parlor Parlor posted this link, a QAnon link, where an anonymous person said, Is JFK Junior alive? And Q said no. Mm. So there you go. Okay. That's it. See you next week, everybody. 
Have an awesome weekend. Yep. See you. Love you. Bye. Oh, just like that? You're not going to say nothing profound? Got no, that, I, I pretty much dropped the profundity, profoundity, pro... Ew. Gross. Wow. Well, I, I, I lost all of my... Yeah, that's what I heard. Okay. Yeah. Later. It's gone. Barrett Buzz, gone.